Yo, it's your boy D Brimzo, aka Mega Heist. I'm back. Doing some walking around, smoking the L, you know what I mean? But I'm in a different neighborhood today. And I gotta tell y'all an interesting story. But first I gotta show y'all where um where I'm at. And I'ma tell y'all the backstory. So I'm over here. In case y'all know, that's Ponce Funeral Home. And um, we buried one of our friends over here. His name was White Boy. Well, we called him White Boy, ain't his real name, but that was like his little his little tag name over here in the hood. And um, maybe a couple years ago, we had to come over here and bury that man. But um, it's not really about that story. It's about one of the reasons why definitely leaving New York so this is gonna be like part one a why deep ribs or leaving New York after having one to come up here almost 15 years ago or 20 years ago when I was in North Carolina so I guess I gotta start from the beginning so over 10 years ago I was in um North Carolina, Jacksonville, North Carolina, which is near Camp Lejeune. Now, if y'all don't know about um, Jacksonville, North Carolina, it's a small knit town, not too many jobs there. Everybody know each other from period of schooling, so you might, they might know somebody from junior high school, shit like that, high school, all that. So these is people that they grew up with each other, you know what I mean? So they got some camaraderie. So I was down there for like two and a half, three years. I hated it. It's slow as fuck down there. So I couldn't do that shit. So I came back up here, went to school, you know what I mean? Finished school, started Renegade, started this Brim game shit with my boy Wabi Hood. Shout out to Wabi Hood. So, came back up here, started that shit, you know what I mean? Then around 27, 2018, shit started going crazy. Shout to Jersey, come on New Jersey, yeah. Shout to Jersey. But, um, yeah, so, let me finish telling y'all. So, my boy YB, had some crazy electrical fire, man. Like, them, that nigga called me like, YB could usually call me like around 12, 1 o'clock. But this day, the homie called me super early. He had to be like 7 in the morning, some shit like that, bro. It was early, nigga. So. If you don't be, I try to answer why I be, you know what I mean? Because you're solid digger, so I try to answer as early as I can. For some reason, that that morning, that shit woke me up. So, when that shit woke me up, he's like, yo, blood, my fucking crib burnt down. I hopped on the bike, rode straight over there. This is before I got the V. So, I rode straight over there. This nigga house is already like, Consumed in smoke, you could tell like it was a bad fire and shit. His family members out there crying and shit. I was like, damn, son. Mike came back to the crib, told my mom like, yo, this nigga got burned out his crib. My mom's like, yo, you can stay. So he would stay in my crib until his parents got back on their feet and they got resettled and they got the house fixed. But in between that time. I lost his grandmother. I lost my mom. I think we lost the, lost um, both of them in August. So August, we don't really be trying to do shit. We be trying to stay suck, stay calm. So I had to do that shit for the house. That shit was mad stressful, y'all. Like getting a house, on the reverse mortgage. I don't know if y'all niggas know what that's doing. They pay your your bills. But when that person died, they come take the crib. But they wasn't expecting me to have good credit. <laughs> like the white man. <laughs> so the niggas was fucked up behind that. 
I got the house back. We was chilling in the muscle mansion. We was macking. Him. But I already knew it was a limited time for I was had to sell that crib. I was supposed to sell that crib after my mom's died, but I wanted to stay in, in New York for my daughter. So I was like the main region. I just had my daughter. I stayed in there. I wanted to get a little bit older. Then I was like, yo, I'm going to go elsewhere. I had the chance to get in Florida. I'm still thinking about moving to Florida, just not now. I'm probably gonna flip a house, a couple houses, and then I'm gonna go move to Florida. I wanna get some di some decent shit in Florida. So, I saw it was that, and you know what I mean? The COVID happened. That's what made everything crazy, cause it was like everybody stopped working. The city shut down. Certain stores, I could, I can't even get certain clothes no more. That shit shut down. I used to get this these fly ass Daniel Eliza shirts, boy. These shit was fly. Three hundred dollar shirts, man, for twenty five dollars. Them niggas had to sell. I was getting them wholesale. That shit going. And the city mad stores to shut down. So it's just like I don't know. Like New York, not not the same to me anymore. I don't know if if you watching this and you a New Yorker, you let me know. Y'all type in the comments and be like, Nah, do you tripping? You should stayed in the city. You should have rented something. Fuck only. You should have rented something, but. Nah, it was about that time to make that exit, man. But, you know, I'm going to be in New York all the time. That ain't going to stop New York to death for me. But, um, yeah, this is part one. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Your boy, D. Brimzoy K. Mega High Son. Now, you already know. Renegade out.